Welcome to this introduction to what's new in Sage 100, version 2023. Please refer to the What's New course found on Sage University for a more in-depth view of what's new. There is no cost to you for this video. We've been busy updating and enhancing Sage 100, so this video is to whet your appetite for the course on Sage University. We have several improvements that I have grouped under general improvements, for lack of a better term. Several modules have been updated and enhancements have been made, so I will touch on accounts payable and inventory management. We've made many updates to the two inventory requirements planning and production management modules. Let's get started with our general improvements. Among our desktop changes are a new design for the Information Center page, a new tab on the ribbon for recent activity, expanded tooltips, and now the active tab when you leave Sage 100 is the active tab when you return. We have several changes made under the heading Global Changes. First, Sage 100 is now one product, and you choose the architecture. You can now skip the integration engine if it doesn't apply to you. When in the Lot Serial Distribution screen, you'll be able to use the Select Serial Numbers by Range filter. This feature is carried through six modules that use serial numbers. We have a couple of changes in Library Master. You can now suppress expired messages when a customer's registration has expired. And the Data File Display and Maintenance folder now returns to the same location you left previously. Here are some other changes. The default setting for years to retain history will now be set to 9 years. It will not override any current settings on your system, as we see mine remained at 5 years. Moving to the Activity Log, it will update the details when an inactive vendor or inactive customers are removed from the system. And the iShip tracking tool has been replaced by redirecting you to the vendor's tracking tool. Here are some additional features. In the Development Studio, you can now exclude a column from Export to Excel. The Paperless Office PDF Converter has been updated to version 6.5.1.7. And Crystal Reports has been updated to version 2020. The following features initially available only through subscription plan are now available to all users. Journal and Register Viewer. Task Scheduler. Data File Display and Maintenance Enhancements. And Map Service. We encourage viewing the full version of what's new in 2023 in Sage University for the details. Let's look at accounts payable and inventory management. We now have masking in vendor maintenance for the tax ID slash SSN number field and bank account and routing numbers in electronic payment. We have two new options in security, which allow the user to view, print, and edit highly sensitive 1099 and ACH information. Only users with this security setup can view the sensitive information and access the options to print unmasked tax ID slash SSN and ACH checkboxes. In Accounts Payable, Select Invoice for Payment is now a grid, and it has a new Include Checkbox column for easier and faster selection. 
In inventory management, you now have the option to hide inactive warehouses or hide zero quantity for lot serial items in cost detail as your initial display. Regardless, Show Hide buttons have been added to various screens in Sage 100, allowing you to toggle back and forth. And a new utility has been added to inventory management to remove inactive items. The activity log is updated showing details of the list of inactive items removed. Moving to Inventory Requirements Planning, seven new fields have been added providing more options for IRP generation. We have expanded the summary and detail information. You can now schedule IRP generation process with Library Master Task Scheduler. An IRP inquiry has been added to view purchase or production information. Also, a reports menu has been added along with four reports. Projected demand report, inventory requirements planning report, action by vendor report, and work ticket and sales order demand. The What's New course in Sage University has more information on these reports. Moving on to production management, numerous changes have been made to production management. Enhanced scheduling is one of the big changes. You can now manually schedule, use base scheduling as in the previous versions, or you can use enhanced scheduling. Enhanced scheduling allows you to use forward or backward scheduling method to schedule work tickets. In addition, you can define default work center closures that will be used for all work centers. New fields have been added for enhanced scheduling to the following. Activity code maintenance, work ticket template maintenance additional tab, work ticket entry to secondary grid. All new fields on Work Center Maintenance have been added for Enhanced Scheduling. Enhanced Scheduling Parameters Available Hours by Day and Work Center Closures. You can now view detailed step information on Work Ticket History Inquiry Schedule tab. An additional information button opens even more details. Work Center Capacity Inquiry has been added to the Inquiries menu, allowing for review of Work Center commitment. In addition, a Scheduled Capacity Report has been added to the Report menu. Material Issue workflow improvements have been made in Work Ticket Transaction Entry. You can now import available material lines several different ways. Yes brings in remaining materials from the Work Ticket. No doesn't. And clicking on the Selection button allows you to pick specific material lines by selecting the checkbox. The Lot Serial History button has been added to several places. Our example is a Work Ticket History Inquiry. You now have filter selections when purging Work Ticket History. Improvements have been made to Labor Entry Department field. Under a set of conditions, when a different department is entered, the new feature now uses the GL account for the department entered instead of the employee's assigned department when posting to the payroll check register. While new security allows for on-the-fly entries for activity codes and work centers, a new option has been added to use the prorated cost for WIP when entering a partial completion in Work Ticket Transaction Entry. 
the new explode bill subassemblies option will allow work ticket steps to be created for each subassembly on a multi-level bill a new option has been added to allow for you to choose from where you want to bring in materials and a recalculate materials budget button has been added on the materials tab in work ticket entry allowing you to recalculate budgets for a step assigned to a selected material line or budgets for all material lines and steps Thank you for watching this introduction to the new features and functions available in SAGE 100 version 2023. To learn about each of these features and more, please register for the course listed here in SAGE University. 100E, SAGE 100, What's New in version 2023.0.